Hello. This is Indigo. In today's video, I will be sharing with you important tips on how to improve your aim in blood strike, which includes crosshair placement, strafing, shooting while tracking moving targets, and many more. Before anything else, see to it that you are comfortable with your sensitivity. Having the right sensitivity is essential. If you want to improve your aim as well as your movement, I have uploaded a video on my channel on how to find your own sensitivity. So be sure to check it out. One of the most important factor to improve your aim is to have proper crosshair placement. Crosshair placement helps in reducing aiming movements, which results to a more enhanced shooting accuracy. Maintaining the crosshair at head level is the ideal crosshair placement, since headshot damage is much higher compared to the damage that can be dealt at the chest and lower areas of the body. Maintaining the crosshair at head level can be difficult. What I do is I try to place my crosshair on the upper body as much as possible. Adding this to your routine will definitely improve your aiming accuracy and overall gameplay. Next is strafing. Strafing basically involves movement while you are shooting. In simple terms, you will move sideways left or right, rather than moving forward or backward. Strafing enables players to keep their aim on a moving target while simultaneously moving themselves. This slight movement makes a big difference, as it complicates the aim of your opponents. This will also help you avoid getting sniped while you are shooting. By mastering strafing, players can improve their performance and effectiveness in various situations, making it an essential technique to learn and master. Next on the list is tracking. Tracking targets is a crucial skill in any FPS game. Tracking allows players to keep their crosshairs on a moving target, ensuring that more shots land, resulting in higher damage over time. Consistent tracking ensures that players can follow their targets smoothly. Good tracking skills reduce the need for drastic corrections in aim, leading to more stable and accurate shooting. Tracking is not just about offense. It also helps players anticipate and react to enemy movements. Skill tracking involves predicting an enemy's movement, allowing players to place their shots where the enemy is going to be. Players who can track targets well can quickly adapt to changing situations, such as sudden enemy ambushes or sudden shifts in a gunfight. Continual engagement with moving targets improves an individual's reflexes. Overall, good tracking is a great boost to one's performance. Next on the list is shooting while jumping. Shooting while jumping is a very important technique for the following reasons. Jumping while shooting makes a player's movement less predictable, making it more difficult for your enemies to track and hit you. Adding a vertical component to your movement can help you dodge enemy fire, especially in close quarter combat, where enemies might be aiming at the head or chest level. In situations where you are caught off guard, jumping while shooting can help by time and reduce incoming damage by making you a difficult target to hit. Shooting while jumping demonstrates a high skill level, potentially intimidating less experienced players. Just remember though, that it's better if you jump moving left or right, rather than just jumping without moving. This will make you a more difficult target to hit, disrupting and complicating the aim of your opponents. Consistently using this technique can apply continuous pressure on your opponents, forcing them to react quickly and potentially make mistakes. Shooting while jumping is an essential technique that offers increased evasion, offensive and defensive advantages, versatility and flexibility. Next on the list is trigger discipline. The practice of when and how often to shoot is a very important skill in any FPS game. Trigger discipline ensures that players do not waste ammunition on missed or unnecessary shots. Conserving ammo allows players to stay in the fight longer without needing to reload frequently, which can be a critical advantage in prolonged gunfights. Good trigger discipline reflects a player's ability to stay calm under pressure, which results to a better overall decision-making and performance. Waiting for the right moment to shoot can mean the difference between hitting a moving target or missing completely. Practicing trigger discipline forces players to be mindful of their surroundings, leading to a better strategic gameplay. Not firing when expected 
can throw off your opponent's expectations, creating more opportunities for outplay. By mastering this skill, players can have a better control on their ammo consumption, team and gunfight engagements, leading to a better gameplay performance. While these things are important to improve your aim, it's also essential to have a good gun loadout. I have uploaded a video on the top best guns in the game. Feel free and check it out if you want to know the gun attachments. I have also uploaded a video for additional tips and tricks regarding recoil control, making a gun loadout from scratch, best settings, and many more. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Comment down below your insights and suggestions on what I should do next. Until then, see you on the next video. Peace.